Everyone, what's up? I'm Ginger Beardicus, and today I want to talk to you about Resident Evil 5 and the possibility of a future remake. So, let me give you a little backstory about why Resident Evil 5 is so important to me. Back when my wife and I first started dating, we uh, were looking for games to play online together in co-op mode while we were away from each other. One of these games was Resident Evil 5. We both had it and we soon found out that we uh, were both pretty good at it. I guess you could say that Resident Evil 5 was like a virtual date for us when we were apart from each other. Let's talk about the game itself. The game is located or well set in Africa and there is a new virus which is called Uroboros. Uroboros is more aggressive and also more intelligent than the T-virus that you experience in especially the first couple of Resident Evil games. The story follows the adventure of Chris Redfield and Sheva Alomar. Okay, so Chris Redfield, uh, the main character the first time you play the game, is, uh, well, is well known in the Resident Evil universe. He's in several games, often as a playable character. The other character has her first appearance in this game and that's Sheva Alomar. Sheva Alomar is a young BSAA operative and she is partnered with Chris Redfield to investigate rumors of Uroboros. So now that you know a little bit about the story of the game without giving away too much, let's first talk about the single player campaign or well the single player experience with the AI partner. The AI is not that smart. It does the job most of the time, but oftentimes it can be quite infuriating to play with AI. Things like blocking your path or picking up ammo that they don't need and just clogging up the inventory. You know, sometimes the AI is just, like I said, infuriating. Shava! Okay. Shava! Hurry! Okay. Hurry! Okay. Now, what I would like to see improved is if they choose to still give you the option to play it with an AI partner, which I think they should do. In that case, the AI partner should be a little more intelligent and should also be able or you should also be able to tell the AI partner like hey don't pick up ammo at random you know only pick up things I want you to pick up for instance the overall combat uh, experience with the AI uh, definitely has room for improvement which brings me to the next part co-op now Resident Evil 5 co-op was done online there was no split screen for the main story however there was DLC which allowed you to play uh, co-op on the couch, couch co-op, which is kind of weird if you ask me. I do hope that in the future they allow you to play split screen for both the main story and the DLC stories. Well, that's it for the first part. For now, I want to thank you all for watching and please look forward to the next video. If you want to see more content by me, please remember to subscribe and also it would really help me if you would drop a like on this video. I was Ginger Bericus. Peace out.